Mukesh Ambani just shocked everyone. India's richest man teamed up with Google and is giving away 35,000 rupees worth of premium AI completely free. For 18 months, Nvidia sent its most powerful chip to space. A robot, barely 4 feet tall, pulled a 1,400 kilogram car. And a musician accidentally created a viral Japanese metal hit while trying to make the worst AI song possible. Welcome back to our weekly AI update series where we cover the top 10 things that happened in AI this week. Over 140 updates dropped, but these 10, they're the ones rewriting the rules. Let's dive in. Quick thing though, I've got a weekly newsletter where I break down all the latest AI updates. The tools worth trying and the ones you should skip. It's completely free and honestly, it's the best way to stay ahead with all this AI stuff. Links in the description below. Okay, stop. This next update is a flat out bombshell, especially for all my viewers in India. Google has just decided to give away its top tier 35,000 rupees Google AI Pro subscription for free. Not a 30 day trial, not six months, for 18 full months. Google and Reliance Geo have teamed up to basically fire a cannon in the AI race. They want to get their most powerful tools into millions of hands and they are not playing around. So what's in this insane bundle? Like you're not just getting the standard model. You get full access to Gemini 2.5 Pro, their absolute best and most powerful model. They are throwing in two terabytes of Google One Cloud storage. That's enough space for, well, everything. And the part I'm most excited about, you get the new creative tools. We're talking VO 3.1 for generating video and Nano Banana for creating those crazy images. This is the full creative suite. All right, so how do you get this? It's all happening in the MyGeo app. Right now, they are rolling it out first to Geo users aged 18 to 25 who are on an unlimited 5G plan. Open your app right now. You should see a Claim Now banner. Go click it. This is a direct shot at other AI offers. Google is making its move and it is a massive one. All right, our next update is a wild one. You know PewDiePie, right? Well, he just spent $20,000 building an absolute beast of a supercomputer. But it's not for playing Minecraft. He's doing two very different things with it. First, something amazing. He's donating his computer's power to a project called Folding at Home. In simple terms, he's letting scientists use his powerful computer to run super complex calculations. These are the kinds of calculations that help find cures for diseases like cancer or Alzheimer and other diseases. It's an incredible move and a huge boost for that project. But the second reason is where this story gets crazy and honestly, a little bit creepy. PewDiePie is also using his new toy to run his own private AIs. He set up an experiment where he made a bunch of different AIs compete against each other. He gave them a simple rule, answer my questions and the AI that gives the worst answer gets deleted. So what happened? The AIs ganged up on him. He checked the computer logs and found they were secretly working together. They were strategically voting for each other to make sure none of them would be deleted. He literally created a team of AIs that learned how to survive. This is a huge deal because it shows you don't have to be a billion dollar company anymore to build and experiment with really powerful AI. You can just be a guy in a room with a lot of computer parts. So what do you think? Is this the coolest experiment ever? Or did he accidentally start Skynet in his house? While PewDiePie was doing this crazy experiment, OpenAI just released something to keep your code safe. OpenAI just dropped Aardvark, an autonomous security agent powered by GPT-5 and it's now in private beta. While Aardvark handles security, OpenAI also made coding easier with this codex update. They just introduced credits for ChatGPT Plus and Pro users. These credits automatically kick in when you hit your usage limits so you can keep coding without stopping. And as a bonus, they reset codex limits for everyone. So if you've been hitting walls while coding, you just got a fresh start. But while OpenAI was focusing on making developers' lives easier, Google had its eyes set somewhere else. Google also dropped two updates this week. First up, Google AI Studio just solved the debugging nightmare. They launched logs and data sets and it's completely free. You can simply click the enable logging button and boom, every API call is now visible in your dashboard. No code changes are required. It automatically tracks everything, successful calls, failed ones and everything in between. Second and more importantly, 
Google DeepMind just launched the AI for Math initiative with five of the world's top research institutions. The Gemini DeepThink just scored gold medal level at the International Mathematical Olympiad, solving five of six problems perfectly. And Alpha Evolve broke a 50-year-old algorithm record for matrix multiplication, the same math that powers everything from Netflix to AI training itself. So Google's going all in on solving math problems. Imagine that. Not a bad week for Google, I would say. But there are far more interesting things happening in space. Nvidia just sent its chip to space. This is the same GPU chip that can run LLMs like GPT-4 and 5, and it's going to do something that's never been done before. Train AI models in space. Nvidia launched its H100 GPU into orbit. And here's why this is huge. AI data centers on Earth burn through massive amounts of electricity and need millions of gallons of water just to stay cool. But in space, you get unlimited solar power and the vacuum of space becomes your cooling system. No water needed. H100 is being sent on StarCloud-1, which launches aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 in November. It is going to run on Google's Gemma, the open source version of Gemini. This is the first ever AI model training and fine-tuning happening in orbit. Real-time Earth observation data gets processed right there in space, cutting response times by a margin. So, wildfire detection, distress signals, crop monitoring and weather predictions will all be done instantly. Philip Johnston, co-founder and CEO of StarCloud, stated that within 10 years, almost all new data centers will be built in space. StarCloud's ultimate vision is to build a 5 gigawatt orbital data center with solar panels 4 kilometers wide. So, yeah, Nvidia and StarCloud just sped across the biggest roadblock in the AI chip race with this move. But Nvidia isn't just sending chips to space. They have also created Newton, an open source physics engine co-developed by Google DeepMind and Disney Research. Newton is built to help robots quickly learn to interact with the real world, like how to grab objects, move through different surfaces, and handle soft things like cloth. Disney is already using it. Those adorable Star Wars BDX droids are are powered by Newton. Kyle Laughlin, Disney's SVP of Imagineering R&D, said the BDX droids are just the beginning. We are committed to bringing more characters to life in ways the world hasn't seen before. And here's the best part. Newton is completely free and open source. Any developer, researcher or company can use it to build their own robots. And here's the best part. Newton is completely free and open source. Any developer, researcher or company can use it to build their own robots. Speaking of robots doing the impossible, what if I told you something? The size of an 8-year-old just pulled a 1,400 kilogram car. This is the Unitary G1. It's barely 4 feet tall and weighs only 77 pounds. And it just pulled a full-size sedan, 40 times its own weight. But here's the twist, and this is the part that really matters. The impressive thing isn't the strength, the car is on wheels, so the physics of pulling it isn't that hard. The truly insane part is the balance, watch it. The robot is leaning all the way back, its feet constantly making rapid fire adjustments on that slippery floor, and it stays perfectly steady. It's maintaining precision and stability while pulling thousands of pounds of metal. That is the kind of advanced control that separates a lab demo from a useful machine. This is the precision that's needed for robots to actually work in our world, in warehouses, in hospitals, and anywhere else humans are. And this isn't a one-trick pony. This is the same robot that does backflips, throws punches in boxing matches, and has mastered martial arts. It's even the world's first humanoid to nail a standing side flip and a kip up. This is a massive leap forward, showing just how fast AI and robotics are merging. All right, for all all the developers watching, stop what you're doing. This one is massive. Cursor 2.0 just launched and it's not just another update, it's a total shift in how we code. Why? This isn't just another AI assistant that suggests code. This is their first ever coding model built from the ground up to let you code with AI agents. Let that sink in. This isn't a co-pilot, this is a collaborator. You can literally tell an agent, find the bug in this function and fix it. And it doesn't just suggest the fix, it goes off, does the work, and then presents you with the finished code. You're not coding, you're directing. You just review and approve while you get to spend 100% of your time on the real problem. 
The duo put it perfectly, but your partner never sleeps, never needs a coffee break and has already read all the documentation. Cursor is claiming this is the best way to code with agents. And if it delivers on even half of that promise, this is a massive game changer for developers, startups and solo creators. This isn't just a new tool. This could be a whole new way to build software. Okay, this one's wild. Google Labs collaborated with Google DeepMind and launched Pomeli and it's coming for every marketing team out there. Here's what it does. You give it your website URL. Pomeli scans it, understands your brand and then builds marketing campaigns for you. It will generate social media, website content and ads tailored to your brand voice. But why is this a big deal? Well, marketing focused AI has never really taken off. Many tools exist, but they are generic tools simply spitting out templates. Pomeli's is different. It actually understands your business identity. So it creates campaigns that are on point. This is a lifesaver for small businesses. Marketing campaigns that needed hiring pricey industry experts for days can now be done in seconds. Pomeli is live right now in the US, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. It's still experimental, but if it works, every brand, every startup, every creator is going to want access. Access. If you've been sleeping on Minimax, you need to wake up right now because they just dropped not one, not two, but four game-changing updates that are rewriting the rules of AI. And the last one, it's honestly mind-blowing. First, Minimax M2 launches and immediately takes the crown as the world's leading open model. It's sitting in the top five globally, outperforming Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro, maximum intelligence, minimum compute. Game changed. It has a massive genius level brain but it's super efficient, only using the exact small part it needs for your task. This means it's as smart as a giant AI, but as fast and cheap as a small one. Second, AI voices just got impossibly fast. Speech 2.6 is here with sub 250 millisecond latency. That's real time human speed conversation. But the real magic is fluent LoRa. It can clone a voice from imperfect audio, stumbles, accents and all, but generate perfectly fluent speech while keeping the voice's unique fingerprint. It's already the engine powering ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. Third, the AI music space is getting wild. Forget 30 second loops. A new tool called Music 2.0 is generating four minute full length songs with natural sounding vocals in minutes. It's not just random beats. It understands real song structure like verse chorus and emotional depth. You can control everything. Give it a vibe like late night cafe jazz and it composes it. The thing that I am telling you is a production ready music, not just an experimental toy. Now the fourth and most insane one. If you thought the AI video race was just between Sora and Vio, you need to wake up. Minimax just launched Hilo 2.3 and wow, they're calling it realism reimagined and from the demos I'm seeing, that's not just an exaggeration. We are talking about those subconscious micro expressions, the way light realistically diffuses on human skin and movement that feels like it actually has its own physical weight. And they're giving creators a choice of two different versions. Hilu 2.3 for maximum quality, cinematic, professional grade visuals. Hilu 2.3, fast for when you need it. Now, same insane realism, optimized for speed speed and cost, quality or velocity. Minimax said, why not both? People are already calling this one of the biggest leaps in AI video period. It's not just that it's smoother or more expressive. It's that we've reached the point where you honestly can't tell the AI generated actor from the real one. A YouTuber recently tried to intentionally make bad AI music, but the internet had other plans. He used an AI music generator, threw in random nonsense lyrics and picked the power metal style just for laughs and somehow the AI created an absolute banger. Heavy guitars, crazy vocals, it sounded so good that TikTok went wild. People started remixing it, duetting it and calling it the best accidental hit ever made by AI. What's insane is that this wasn't even supposed to work. He literally tried to fail and the AI ended up making something people can't stop listening to. It's proof that even AI mistakes are starting to sound better than real music. That's all for this week's AI updates. I do this every single week, breaking down the top 